Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video response um, for Susan Taylor Brown's um, video that she did um, a couple days ago on um, her technique for um, adhering napkins and tissue paper to um, all types of different items. I will link her video in the description box um, below so you can check it out. She actually has two. Um, she did the original video where she used um, Mod Podge and a gel medium or a matte medium. And then she did a follow-up video, I think the day after, um, and I'll link that one as well, where she tried out some other glues, one of them being um, Aileen's Tacky Glue. Um, the other one she used was um, Yes Paste, and I think she tried a glue stick, and she tried um, just Elmer's um, all-purpose or multi-purpose glue. Um, the Tacky Glue and the Yes Paste were successes, and the other two weren't so much great. Uh, they, they, that was not a sentence. Oh my gosh. Um, I apologize. <clears throat> um, my brain has, has left the building today. Um, let's try that again. The Elmer's and the glue stick did not work as well as she would have liked. And the Yes Paste and the Tacky Glue um, did actually work. Um, I have a confession to make. Um, I've had this container of Yes Paste since like July. Um, of last year, and I cannot open it. Um, and I've tried multiple times because I'm like, I really want to use this stuff, right? I've had it forever. Um, I cannot get it to budge. Um, and I have yet to remember to take it downstairs <clears throat> so that my husband can get it opened for me. So I am going to sit this where I will see it when I leave this room so I can have him try that. So confession time. Uh, yeah, I'm a crazy person and <clears throat> have supplies that I can't even open. All right. <laughs> uh, so I kind of rolled the two into one. Um, I used Mod Podge because I have a bazillion different containers of um, Mod Podge and other um, you know, decoupage products, um, because I buy them when they're on clearance, as you can see, um, I got this one at Hobby Lobby on clearance. And for some reason, I feel like I have to always get them. Um, even though I really don't like using it at all. Um, I don't like how it makes, I, I just, I don't like it. Uh, especially I don't like it as a, a sealer. Um, and it's messy and I don't like messes and I don't like it. So, um, yeah, I was quite happy when um, Susan used this and it worked. So um, I will, con even though it's messy still, it's still a messy process, um, I will use up some of my Mod Podge and such for this type of um, thing. And then I am using, I use the, the Aileen's Tacky. And another confession, I have a bazillion bottles of this because back when, back in the back, like when I first started, um, you know, needing craft glue, this was the one that everyone, you know, was like, oh, you have to have Aileen's Tacky Glue. It's the best for everything, right? Well, it, it's probably a great glue. Um, I cannot squeeze any of the Aileen's Tacky Glue bottles, none of them. I cannot make it work. Um, I don't think I'm the on only one. I know I'm not. Susan said she has a hard time with it. Um, so the reason I have so many is I keep buying different containers of it. So as you can see, this was the last purchase I made of Aileen's Tacky, and it's this easy squeeze um, tube, right? And it stands upright, so it's always ready, supposedly. Um, I got it at Ollie's. It was pretty good price. So I bought every bottle they had in the hopes that it would actually be easy squeeze as it says on the bottle. I still can't, I still can't do it. I still can't. So I have so much tacky glue in bottles that I can't squeeze. Um, and I still will, because even though this technique is amazing and it works great, I still, my hands hurt so bad from just the few items I tried 
or I, that I put the, the tacky glue on. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe I just need to give it to somebody else with stronger hands who doesn't have arthritis and fibromyalgia. I don't know. Um, if you're out there and you would, you know, like some tacky glue, uh, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll send it to you and you just pay me postage. I, I don't even, <laughs> like, I just, I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm not sure. All right. So that's enough about that. All right. So what I did, um, I was going to actually film this part and I did start filming it. And then I decided that, um, like I said, I hate messes and I get kind of cranky when things are messy. And as I've said before, nobody wants to watch a cranky woman craft. So I decided to do the gluing ahead of time. Um, so what I have done is these four pieces have a layer of the Aileen's Tacky Glue. And as you can see, I did the smaller pieces um, with that because it was less squeezing, but it was still a nightmare. So um, these are all the Aileen's Tacky. And let me tell you, it I don't know. It's less sticky than the Mod Podge. Explain that to me. Um, yeah. I'd rather use that as a sealer, honestly. Okay, so those are Aileen's, and then these are all Mod Podge, and they're all sticking together because it's Mod Podge, but they're dry. But see, I hate that. Oh, it drives me nuts. So I have all these pieces, right? And we're going to go ahead and see how um, the tissue paper and napkins work. Um, I am also testing out, for the first time, um, a Christmas gift. Uh, I got this look, cute little adorable, look how cute this thing is. I mean, it's the most adorable little iron I have ever seen in my life. Um, it's smooth, so it doesn't have the holes. Uh, it's tiny. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's hot enough um, for this process, because honestly, it's, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel quite hot enough, but we will try, and if need be, I will um, stop recording and heat up my big iron and then we'll continue. But I wanna see if it works because I know there are probably some people, um, I got this idea from Lori, Girl on the Ridge. Um, and you know, because it's it doesn't have the holes, so you can use it with beeswax, it doesn't have water in it, that kind of thing. Um, and I'm, ho I'm, I'm assuming other people probably have similar little irons. So I wanted to see if it would work with the, you know, this technique. All right, let's 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 just start. So the first item I have, this is the tacky glue. Um, these are like, I don't know, 1980s, 70s, I can't remember what year, um, password game cards. They're just like a perfect tag size. You know, they're skin, like a skinny tag size. I actually have these for sale in my Etsy shop if you're interested. Um, so I have that. It's dry. It's ready to go. I have a piece. I'm going to move these out of the way because I'm afraid I'm going to, yeah. Okay. Um, I have a piece of parchment paper folded in half, right? To protect my little itty bitty craft iron from glue seepage, even though uh, it would clean up perfectly fine. Um, we'll just, you know, play it safe. We're going to start with, um, a napkin, I believe. And I thought I had one all ready to go, but I wanted to just, I think this is the one I wanted to use for this. Maybe not. Not that that's not a cute napkin, but it's quite a big um, pattern and I don't want to lose any of it, if that makes sense. Let's do this one. All right. Um, and then I'll show you with another one, the technique for... Um, you want just one layer of your napkin when you're doing this kind of thing. And I think I'm down to the bottom layer on that. All right, so I am just going to, I'm not even going to think about it too much. Um, you know, I want it kind of, kind of straight, but it doesn't really matter. All right, so that's on the glue side, right? And then let's see if this works. Um, I hope it does because this little iron is so much easier to deal with than the big iron. I know I've probably, probably said it before. I don't iron clothes. Um, I don't use my iron except for craft purposes. <laughs> um, 
when my youngest lived at home, he, he would iron clothing, um, and he, he didn't care. He used it. Actually, no, he did. He ironed his clothes with my craft iron, and then he didn't care. There, it's a real iron, but it, I had, I've used it for, you know, like tea dyed paper and stuff. Let's see if this is working. Please, please, please. Oh, it worked. Oh, yay. I'm so, so excited. Okay. Yay. So I will put a link to this adorable little iron in the description box below. And um, I'd say it is definitely worth the, it didn't cost very much. It's, it's worth every penny now that I've used it one time, right? All right. I'm going to go ahead and just, I like the, the torn edge of the napkin. So I'm totally fine with um, just doing it this way. I like how that looks. And then I can show you closer up. Oh, it does. It really, it gets all the wrinkles out and everything. I didn't even like, I didn't even try very hard. It's awesome, Susan. You are awesome. I mean, I already knew you were awesome, but I'm, I'm quite, quite happy. Quite happy with this because definitely not my favorite thing to do. Um, I love the look of napkins on things, but it's always been kind of a hassle. Look at how cute that is. And it's got, you can see the writing. See, <gasps> that is adorable. Oh my gosh. And then we could either leave it like this or add some uh, tea dyed paper to the back, make some space for writing. Oh, that is adorable. And it, yeah. Now I probably will do what Susan does and I'll probably run a stitch or two, you know, a line of stitches around the outside just because I'm paranoid, but that's, I'm, that's pretty stuck. And man, that feels so nice. Oh, Susan, you are amazing. Okay. Let's set that one aside and I'll shut up for five seconds. Um, <laughs> I want to try, I just want to make sure I don't run out of time before. Um, oh, that's bad, Emily. I sat all of these on my laptop and I put them on the side that is um, where like the heat comes out. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> they were starting to stick together. I'm glad I figured it out. All right, I wanna try this glassine bag. It is coffee dyed. Um, this is a total experiment because I'm, I'm assuming that something is gonna go wrong here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, my guess would be that between the coffee dyeing and the glassine, um, it has Mod Podge on it. My guess is that it's not gonna do um, do what I want, but it might. So I'm trying to decide if I need to put something in here um, to keep it from accident. I didn't put glue all the way to the top or I mean Mod Podge. Um, I'm just trying to find something to put in there. Here, this'll, this, this'll work, I think. I just don't wanna, yeah, I just don't want it to accidentally glue together. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Um, what do we want to, I was just, I was just gonna start ironing. Um, I have a whole, whole pile of stuff over here. Um, I'm so indecisive, guys, it's ridiculous. Um, let's do this tissue paper. Isn't this cool? Um, I don't know. This might, I don't, I got this from somebody and I'm not sure um, if it's a brand or where it came from. I'm gonna move my iron for a second. Uh, I just wanna. Um, hopefully it will tear well. Sorry, I feel like I'm like right in your face with this whole situation. Yeah, I said my brain has left the building. Um, we're getting ready to leave for vacation, so I can't seem to think about anything, even the stuff I need to think about. Okay, so this is very wrinkly, so this will be a good test of that. 
it is Mod Podge um, on the bag. And let's go. Let's see what it does. Oh, move that over there. So yeah, we are leaving um, on Saturday. Today is, I think today is Wednesday. Sounds right. <laughs> I usually don't, oh. Whew. Okay, well, the Mod Podge definitely puts off um, a smell uh, when it gets hot again, um, or when, it, yeah, when it heats up. The Aileen's did not do that. Um, oh, come on, sit still. Now, it could be because of the coffee, too. That's quite possible. Now, let's see how it's doing. Did it work? I think it did because, like I said, I didn't go all the way to the top with it. Let's just do a little bit more. Make sure get all the edges. I'm going to end up burning myself yet. One of the reasons I don't iron clothes. Oh, back to that. So anyway, um, my husband was in the Navy. He is great at ironing. Um, I'm horrible at it. It takes me like a half an hour to iron one sleeve of one shirt. I just ugh, I hate it so much. Um, so when we got married, I was like, well, you know how to iron, so you don't even need me to iron your stuff. Well, I'm going to blame this wrinkle on the fact that it's a glassine bag. I think that's probably, yeah, because the, the bag itself is quite wrinkly, but I think that worked. Let's, um, let's see here. Probably should have cut it ahead of time, but now I didn't have any of the Mod Podge up. I'm just, I'm actually trying to tear it off. And honestly, yeah, that didn't work. That's sad. Hmm. I wonder... Well, that makes me sad. I thought it was working. I wonder if it worked enough that if I sew around the sides and the bottom, if I can salvage it. Um... quite possible that I just didn't hold the iron in all the places long enough because it's a rather large um, piece, right? Sorry, I'm off out of frame here for a second. to work. I think I'll cut it this time. Grab my scissors. So Oscar is not coming with us this time. Um, he is going to stay uh, with a lovely lady that works at his daycare. And she also runs a service where she takes the dogs home with them. Um, instead of, you know, having to board them, like in a kennel or something. So they just get to, you know, be a part of her family while they're while they're there. So he loves her to death. Um, I joke with her that he loves her more than, than he loves me. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't 
even know if he understands the concept of loving someone more, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so he's going to do that while we're gone. Uh, cause we determined, I think I mentioned this, that he is allergic to Florida. Uh, poor little guy. He did not fare so well. Um, when we took him down there at Thanksgiving, he just, he was one big allergy attack. Now, like I said, I think, even though this wasn't a complete success, and I was kind of thinking it probably wouldn't be, um, I think, yeah, no, this is just, okay, this is just a failure, but I will, um, I'll either, so or something and I'll be able to I'll be able to salvage this piece into something else. All right. Moving on, let's do uh let's do something else here. Um what else? What else? What else? I I wanted to show you I was talking about using just the one layer of napkin. I want to show you um my my little trick for that even though it's not my trick. I learned it from somebody else and now I'm not sure who I learned it from. So I apologize if you are that person, uh, let me know. So you just want to take a piece of tape. Who was it? It's on the tip of my tongue and now I can't think of who it was. Oh, I hate that. Isn't that annoying? Okay. So basically you want a piece of just regular scotch tape and then, um, just, you don't want it like as sticky as it can be. So I just, I'll use like, you know, my pants or whatever and just kind of <clears throat> lint it up a little bit because you don't want it to tear through all the way. And then it'll help you get that first layer off and keep this. Um, my good, my friend Jamie uh, said to keep it and you can stamp on it. And so I've got a pile over here of napkin innards. Now I believe this has another layer. Yep. So you want, you know, most, most napkins have, you know, two or three ply, right? Um, the, the more expensive ones might have, you know, four. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had one that had more than three, but I'm sure they probably exist. All right. And it's cool because when you, sometimes you'll get like some imprint on those white layers too. Okay. So let's do, this was tacky glue, right? Oh, you know what? I want to try Everything's sticking over here because I had that on my computer. I love these little triangle flashcards. Um, I actually have some of these in in with other flashcards in my shop. If you are interested, what do I do with my scissors? Okay, I'm just gonna cut, you know, just kind of rough cut this so I don't have too much extra hanging out while I'm ironing. I know you're all screaming at me that, that I'm wasting a bunch, but I'll, I'll keep the scraps. It'll be all right. Okay. Parchment paper. And I'm actually gonna, I don't, do you see how the napkin has like that embossed pattern where they cinch it together? I don't want that on my napkin. So I just want to make sure that um, that I don't get any of that. And I actually probably want more of the flower, less of the greenery. So that should be fine there. All right. So 
So, so far, I'm liking this a lot. Like I said, though, I'm not... The Aileen's, man, that bottle. Every bottle of it. I have. I think I have every possible bottle they've ever made for that glue. And I can't squeeze any of them. Um, I have the little tiny bottles. I have, you know, I, I just, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm such a weakling. It's awful. Oh, I do need, I need you guys' help. Recommendations for paint brushes for glue or Mod Podge, please. Um, I have the worst paint brushes on the planet. They are just left over from when my kids were homeschooling. Um, and they are, ugh, they're yucky. I used, I actually used a sponge brush for this today and it worked fine, but I feel like maybe an actual paintbrush would be, would be better. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? All right, let's get the extra off of there. That was Mod Podge, so the smell, the smell. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna attempt to tear because I do really like the look of that. And it has this cute little thumb notch. So what, this would be cute as like a little corner pocket maybe. Did I, no, that's actually part of a napkin, okay. I thought tearing was going to be faster. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh. So anyway, while we're away, I have some videos that will be magically uploading. <laughs> uh, so... Um, so I can keep, basically, so I can keep up with the, my schedule of the 3 and 30. Ah, oh, challenge. Oh, that's super cute. I love that. And like I said, I would probably put it, I don't know where I would put it, because it's not really, I mean, it's not a 90 degree angle, obviously. Um, but you could put it, you could do whatever you want with it, but it's got this nice little thumb tab, so it might be nice, like, on the edge of a page. And then, oh, it feels lovely. Oh, I love that. All right, very cool. Let's try. I have some um, Tim Holtz. I really wanna try the tissue paper. It's actually the Tim Holtz collage paper, um, but I wanna see, It's it's it should work. I really think that the, um, the glassine bag was just a, Kind of a, it was the glassine bag's fault, not, what do we want to put, what do we want to put it on though? Um, oh, is that like a, that is, it's like the perfect size. Look at that. Right, and I don't want to, I don't want to waste like a single, single shred of this stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna fold it where I want to cut it, and I'll probably just tear it with my tear ruler. Hopefully, maybe not. Let's not use the tear ruler, Emily. What are you thinking? Ugh, let's just use a regular ruler. It's got to be a better plan, right? Ugh, no. Why do I try these things on camera? <laughs> I know they're not going to work when I'm on camera. All right. I don't think I wasted too much. This stuff is so pretty. Okay. 
think it'll be fine here. So this is just a flash card. Um, it's not ridiculously old. It's probably from the 90s, 80s or 90s. And this, was this Mod Podge or? I think this was Mod Podge. Let me see if I can smell it in a minute. I don't know if I smell it or not. Oh, oh well. I love this little craft iron. It's so cute. Oh, and I applied whatever it was, the Mod Podge or the Elmer, or not Elmer's, Aileen's, to the matte side of my flashcard. So, you know, there's usually like a matte side and then a glossy side. Because um, I didn't want to have to sand it and all that kind of fun stuff. I hope this works. Because this is awfully pretty. I feel like I'm probably overkilling it, but I want it to work. Yeah, I think it worked. Um, it's Mod Podge. Maybe it worked. No, I think it worked. I'm still going to sew around it, though. All right, let's trim it up. Maybe I should stop, <laughs> but it's, it's too much fun. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to do a couple more um, here, and then I will sew them, and I'll turn the camera back on and show you the final results. How about that? All right, so I will see you guys in just a bit. Okay, so I had a couple little mishaps that I wanted to share with you. Um, I, <laughs> let's see, which napkin was it? I put a napkin on here and I thought that I had gotten through, you know, all the layers, right? And was down to the final, uh, the final piece. It was this part of this napkin here. It was actually um, this part. Anyway, I thought I was down to the last layer, um, but I was not. There was still uh, there was still one more layer, which you can actually see, and I don't know why I didn't notice it. Um, and so after I ironed it on, um, the top layer came right off. So I was left with the plain um, white napkin layer glued down to this bingo card. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't hate it. Um, it's just different, you know, I would probably stamp on this or do something, you know, um, cause now it's just kind of blah, but anyway, just so you, just so you are aware, make sure you're down to that last layer, um, just the top layer of napkin. If you're not sure, take your piece of tape and, um, you know, go like on a section that you don't care about. Um, maybe you don't, you know, you don't want this word anyway. So just take your tape right on there. Um, and if it doesn't pull up a layer and it just tears through the whole thing, then that means that you're through to the final layer, um, most likely. Uh, let's see, what else, what other mishaps did I have? Um, this was a major mishap and I have no idea. Like, I don't even know if you can call it a mishap. Um, <clears throat> this was tacky glue on this little coin envelope and nothing, and I mean nothing, would stick to it. I tried napkin, I tried tissue paper, I tried a different napkin, um, yeah, nothing wanted to stick to this. So I have no idea what the problem is. I don't know if it's a glue issue, if it's a, you know, I, I have no idea. Um, very strange, it makes me kind of um, doubt the ability of the tacky glue to hold over time. Um, 
And since I would probably sew all of these anyway, I'm not too worried about it, but you might just wanna keep that in mind. I have no idea why nothing wanted to stick to this. So this is just gonna go in the trash because now it's just kinda of like, you know, I don't know. It's, I don't wanna use it. I'm, I'm angry at it, <laughs> so I'm gonna throw it away. All right, so <clears throat> here's, let's see, I did this one on camera, but here it is all sewn a couple wacky stitches and then I still I would probably just glue a piece of um you know paper on the back of that here's this one I love 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 this one so so very much um it is it is my favorite uh the threads are all weird back here but no biggie I'm not too worried about that very cool I am in love with that um let's see which other one oh I did this one um, and I love how it looks all sewn as well. Again, I would probably just put some paper in the middle there, or whatever, um, you know, and then who knows? All right. I fixed this. Um, it did stick, you know, it didn't completely pull away. I mean, I could probably pull it away, but what I'm going to do while I'm sitting here is I'm going to get glue all over my hands. First of all. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, like add add some glue under here uh, to this edge. Hopefully, maybe. I feel like I can't see what I'm doing, and maybe that'll just hold it. It's sewn. Um, I just it's kind of weird, but I just sewed through the whole uh, the whole bag on just the edges, so it's still a bag. Um, and now I've got glue, seepage, anyway, um, so even though it's sewn through, um, I didn't want to throw it away. I thought, you know, I can at least do something with it, right? So that is what I did. And I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. I just got glue seeping out all over, but it'll be fine. All right. And then <clears throat> this was just a plain tag and I just did that on the front. I added a whole reinforcer because you could see the one that was a part of it uh, through the napkin, it looked really dumb. So I just added one on there. This was the time card here. I thought that turned out really pretty and you can still see the lines and stuff through there. And then this one I did, I got like a little crazy. I'm gonna cut all these threads, but just try to ignore them for the moment. This was the library card. Um, I like did like a three, uh, you know, three different pieces. So this is sewing pattern paper. This was the tissue paper. It was just a off cut from the bag. And then this was the same napkin as this. I just had pieces on my desk. So I thought, why not? So I just sewed where the edges met and then sewed around and I'll, I'll trim those. And I, again, I would probably put a piece of tea dyed paper on the back, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, cause you can't really write over that stitching anyway. Um, unless I put cardstock on the back, it'd probably be okay. And then this one is just blah because I wanted to see if um, used tea bag would work and it does. So yay, um, that was just cool in its own right. The fact that you could um, do the same technique with tea bags, um, but it's, you know, kind of blah. I would probably in the future pick like um, a different surface to, you know, start with, not a guest check. Maybe I would do like something more colorful in the background. So yeah, all in all, a very, very cool idea, Susan. Thank you so, so much for, uh, for this, uh, for the idea and for the technique and for everything. Um, and I'll be doing more of this in the future. Um, like I said, I will link to this adorable little mini craft iron, um, in the description box below. So if you are interested in, um, purchasing one of those, you can do that. And I will link to Susan's videos. And I think that is it. All right, guys, this will be the last, uh, you hear from me until Monday. I'll be back with the next three and 30 challenge. Um, obviously I did um, 
film that ahead of time because I will not be here. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and um, I will, I'll see ya, but I'll really see ya when I get back from vacation. <laughs> All right, guys, if you try this out, let me know. Susan's putting together a playlist um, of all, you know, of videos that people um, create with this technique of items that they create and such. So you can leave me a comment um, with the link to that video if you do one. And then I will get that to Susan so she can add it to her master playlist. All right, guys, have a fabulous day. Talk to you later. Bye.